I'm so happy sometimes that this is our job. I hate my life. I'm so no. My dad is so disappointed in me. Uh, oh yeah. No. Anyway, so we're talking about. Oh, it's me, Baxter. And John from Casino Guitars, switching soft cases. Okay, so this is sort of a trend that's happened over the past few years. Hard cases are disappearing <clears throat> unless you spend, I don't know, three thousand dollars on a guitar. A lot of guitar manufacturers, you're not getting a hard case yeah. unless you spend a lot. Some. You still, but I mean, like, let's look at PRS for example. It's it's pretty much they're there. Yeah. I mean, the Silver Sky, the um, the Tele thing, the Fiore, they're all <laughs> the Tele thing. <laughs> I know what it's called. Wonderful. <laughs> the NF. Yeah. You know, it's it's a, it's a cool. But it's a, that that's there. Fender, you don't get anything unless you spend a thousand dollars, pretty much. Yeah. Like, no I'm no gig, gig bag. bag or anything. No gig bag. At Except for that shining example of value, the CD60. You get a hard case with a Fender CD60 acoustic. It makes no sense. The case is more valuable than the guitar. Absolutely it is, because that case is like $150. It's $250. The guitar must be $100, and the case must be $150. It makes no sense. It makes zero it makes sense. No sense. And it's a good guitar. That guitar baffles me. Like we were, anyway. That is the mystery of the Fender line right now. But anyways. You know, but so that is the, sort of the thing now. Like, and everybody's like, we have people ask us, why does why that happen? Like, it's money. Of course. So I mean, that's, 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 that's really simple. How good day. Click, click like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, but think about this, right? Like, I feel like it was, um, it was a bit of a contra, not contra. I mean, you know, everybody was talking about it when it was like no hard case with the Silver Sky, right? Right. I remember. And then it kind of went from that really cool case in the first like run of them yes. to just the regular old PRS gig bag, which is pretty good. Yeah, it's fine. It's um. But I still feel like people were kind of. Uh, upset and hurt by that right and but but they've they've lulled us into no one batting an eye about that with the fiore or the yeah, nf 53s because Miles kennedy and they're the same the price or more you know what i mean <laughs> ha there take that take um, that you three people that are upset about it <laughs> no it's um, but you know what i'm saying like it's like i feel like it's slowly becoming a thing and i think like if you order a novo you can get a mono bag if you, you know yeah and the novos are expensive guitars don't have hard cases now here's or Powers electric guitars, really nice. I'm They're not gonna really call it nice. gig bag. It's a, I call them deluxe soft cases. Yeah, I mean I think you know or like the Aero case from Taylor is pretty amazing. And here's the rub for Johnny and I. Now, now hold your britches, hold your horses, and hold your shoehorns. You know that little thing at the when you go to a country club where they have that little thing you press the thing and it cleans your shoes. Is that a thing? You press a little button and it's got a thing. I guess really you have cool. to have shoes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> mind this trend. No. I actually like a soft case better yes I, it's just um i have an attic full of hard cases yes like and especially a good soft case a good one that i can actually and like this now don't get me wrong we are anomalies in some respect that we actually take our guitars out and go play places sometimes well there's that they, they, i mean seriously that's like if you're not like a performing thing i get and i get if i spend you know four or five thousand dollars or two to three thousand dollars fender at least you still get like a hard case and, yeah. TS, and they're nice TSA. you know Type style cases in that sixteen hundred dollar range, but um, I, there's something nice about having a hard case. I get it. Do you think it. that's like the prestige? Like, oh, this is a luxury item with its own little hard case. Like yes. buying a nice watch with its own little case. I mean, I've never done that. One hundred percent. Like those plastic things, like your Walmart, where the the watch is on it. You know, dude, I love those. Things. Like, those are amazing. Or that Key and Peele episode where it's like the Battle of the Hats. You've seen that one where like, no. the guy's like shows up eventually with like a hat in the, the display case on his head. Okay, that's amazing. Because you know it starts off with the tags yeah, and no, the plastic and this case. Okay, I need to go it's, watch that. It's pretty funny. I'll watch that one. It's, um, no, no I, and I get that too, because I do like a nice, see, I'm, I'm a conundrum. I, I mean, it is, when we like prop up the custom shops in their hard case, it, it is very cool. sexy. Yeah. There's something like, that's something we do just when we're having a bad day. Yeah. We'll open up the guitar case and look at the guitar in its case, and it's just like, oh, oh, voila, and you can have that, I want to do it again. Mwah. It's just the joy of that. I don't know. Well, I mean, like, you know, I, I kind of get that. I, God, I never touch my hard cases, though. But, but. Exactly. Our friend Jack Stowe made us all those really nice guitar stands. And mine lives in the corner of my dining room. And so if I need that, I just go and put my whatever guitar I'm playing in that little stand. And it just makes me happy every time I walk past it. Yeah. No, and no, I feel no. like that, that, that serves the same purpose. Or, or, <laughs> yeah, or when, when I and I keep mine all like in like a wooden string swing rack, like one of the right. nice wooden string swings, and that's where I keep my guitars in my apartment. But um, when I when I'm going to go do like a jam or something, or play with some friends, or do a show, I'll just grab whatever gig bag I have, you know, yeah. and I'll stick whatever guitar I'm gonna take. Boom! And I only take one guitar usually. I just love when you had you brought out the old school levies, the mono of yesteryear. I know. Is that, that like was, not a thing anymore? 
I feel like it's they've been totally like supplanted by like mono and reunion blues and like the the nice. Yeah, like you saw that, like, that's my old. That's my. But old when I saw it, I used to. I was you like, oh my god, right? I don't know. yeah, I did. And it's then like by the time I could, yeah, two thousand. Yes, no, that was yeah, super cool. Twenty you know? something year old gig bag of mine, and it still held up. Well, because they, the, uh, <laughs> they used to have all the Canadian. They used to have all the still the ads for those yeah, so. in Guitar World and like the leather levy. And then you look up and you're like, how much is it? <laughs> Who was, I, they were expensive, I feel like. It was, like. it was something like, that's $50? Yeah. Which was a lot of money back then so. for like a cake or a gig bag, whatever you want to call it. But that gig, that Levy's gig bag, I remember, I don't know if it was that one or it was a Fender thing. I think it might have, the strap came off or something. That, it, my Les Paul fell down the subway stairs and the Les Paul was okay and tumbling on itself. Da -dum, da -dum. I, I, someone dropped a really tiny, I mean, I'm talking about, well, a very small elephant. No, um, it was a hippo. Um, it was a lot like a little lighting trust thing. Like I'm talking about a tiny one onto the neck of two of two of my guitars. Cool. In a mono dual, the M80 dual gig bag. And I thought, holy crap. So that friend of yours is now dead. I should, yes. Um, but I thought, man, my guitars are, that's it. Nope. Just fine. <laughs> Sometimes I think even for that kind of stuff, Where the Scott hard case Grote is, had well, that that lighting thing fell on his, his Taylor hard case and it broke the case, right? Well, yeah, but I think I think sometimes that hard surface like transfers more energy into this the, like where they're they're kind of suspended in that mono bag. Or just go back and watch our video on our channel of us with the, the Arrow new, case, the new Taylor Arrow case when it came out. This was right during pandemic times, I think. Yes, yeah, so we were bored. Yeah, we so we were throwing it off the roof. We were hitting it with trucks and like putting my kids in it and just kicking them over and just. That what was really fun. It was yeah. fun. Augustus sort of has never been the same since then, but, no, but he it was, was probably worthwhile. Gonna go he was probably going to go that way. Anyways. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, um, he's the one with the um, the bail bonds already set gonna up. Fine. He's going to be fine. Yeah, he'll be all right. You think so? Probably. Okay, I hope so. Um, yeah, so we don't really mind this trend, but we see both sides to it. And, and again, it's, it's a way of sort of increasing profits for the manufacturers without having to raise prices sometimes. Yeah. <sighs> I don't even know. You know, I, I get that if you're PRS, right, and you're making your gig bags, or your Taylor, maybe, and you're making gig bags. Although they still include hard showcase with a lot of things. But man, if you're doing like the mono bag instead, like like Novo or somebody, that might be more value than the hard case. Those are those are in some cases are more expensive than the cheaper hard shell cases you get with the guitar. They're definitely, because we've had lots of really high-end guitars come through with cheap hard shell cases, mm -hmm. and it stinks shipping yes. them. Yes, yes. It's, um, you get what you pay for That's in true. that world. And like, you know, we're not talking about like the fancy acoustic guitar cases no. where you spend $1,500. One day I want one of those. I want a Calton case. <sighs> Just only so I can travel, like fly with like my 335. They're, they're so crazy looking. I know. It'd be funny if you had one of those and then you pulled out like a CD60. That would be amazing. <laughs> like, guys, guys, come here. Oh. It's like, okay, where oh, what do you got in there? Like Alvarez. They're all looking at it, trying to figure out what, what? Man, I bet he's got a Wayne Henderson or something. <laughs> it's an Alvarez. That's my one, I have, I have two <laughs> friends at Merle Fest that always come by uh -huh. and they're, and they're, they're Colton cases. It's Colton, isn't it? I don't know. You said Calton, I think. Cow's on cases. I, I don't it's know. Colton cases. It's not that. I mean, just in case. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or Cali, Colton cases. But they have their Colton cases, and it's always, they have Hendersons in them. And it's always fun, because I always look forward to seeing those two I guys. Know. It's Colton? I think so. We're going to go with that. Unless like a brain Whatever, fry. I, I just like, I've been on their website, right, where you can get all the different colors with the weird They're interiors. expensive. They are expensive, but man, one day. Um, I have to. I have to be flying enough to make it, like, worth it. On I, don't that. Yeah. I don't know if I want one. It's just another thing I have to put somewhere. Yeah, that's true. I have such finite storage in my house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I mean, I even bought a gig bag that like my Gretsch and a regular electric will fit in. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. But I mean, it's easier to carry. It's just easier for gigs, right? It's just big. It's huge. Yeah, your, your gig it's bag like looks carrying my, like you're carrying like a, a, a full size alligator like on your back. <laughs> looks like I'm carrying a cello. <laughs> but um, you walk in, it's like because it's like it's not like a normal gig. It's like I didn't realize Whoa. that one was going to be so large. Well, because it was really for like an acoustic and an electric. It, but it was the only thing I could find that would fit the Falcon. So let, let, let us know. Like we see both sides on this 100%. And we're sort of, in our camp, we're on both sides in a weird way. Because like I, I do honestly like the convenience of a soft It's case. a psyop. They're trying to get us it, I mean, gaslighting. I think I still need no, to know you want soft I know what it is, but I still don't quite understand it's it. It's become such a, it's such such a, a buzzword. You know? It almost doesn't mean anything anymore. But, it's so um, dumb. No, I mean, yeah. I... I if it's a good, so I had a kid in the, this, this, the, the little school I was working with this morning. This one kid said, like, 
man, do you know where the main is? I'm like, what? Do you know where the main is? Like, I was like, I was like, dude, I don't know what you mean. I don't know what this young person stuff is like. He's like, do you know where Maine is? I'm like, dude, I don't get it. <laughs> so I don't, I don't see, he's like, I was like, no, I don't know. He's like, see, I told you all. And he told everybody. I was like, he doesn't know where Maine is either. Like, I'm like, what do you mean? Like the state, like the state like, of he goes, Maine? Yeah, the state. I'm like, oh, well, yeah, I definitely know where Maine is. I thought it was some like kid thing. And I, was like, I just didn't know it. He was like a 15 year old. I was, just, I was totally baffled for a minute. Like the whole, you know, no cat thing. I still yeah, don't I mean, quite understand. Exactly. I like the full, makes, full stop. Like, I don't no like cat. to wear cats anyway. So I do like no cats. cats. No, I don't know. No cats. That'd be cute. Just, no cats. Not yeah. for real, no cats. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand. Walmart. Sean always says it to me, and I just look at him. No cats. Blankly, we're confused and we're lost, and we're just confused old men now at this point. But um, <sighs> I do know where the state of Maine is. Yeah, dude. They make lobsters. They, and they have the most wonderful pigeon collection. Do they? Well. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to go into a long story about this one man at the state. He has the most like the most like um, taxidermy pigeon collections in the world. I was going to create this whole thing. That's not true. It is dove season. They're kind of like pigeons. Uh, pigeons are rats of the sky. Yeah, it's true. Just ask my friends at Russo Music about that. They know what I'm talking about. Rats of the sky. Like talking to Scott. Kind of like the chicken of the sea. Scott at Russo Music is the pigeon expert. Is he he, like, he's like he's like um. Raise them or exterminate them. He's like Lawrence Fert Fishburne in John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. It's, it's insane. Running everything, look. Scott Arusa. Oh my God, that dude is insane with his pigeons. Have stuff. you watched the newest John Wick before? Uh, no, I have not. I have not either. Oh, it's funny. I really want it to. It hasn't come out streaming yet, as far as free. Yeah, not free, I, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm waiting on because we're cheap. We're waiting for yeah. free, too. I can't. $6,000 for the guitar? No problem. $10 <laughs> to watch a movie? No. Well, my parents will be watching on our Amazon Prime. And I'll be like, what's this charge for $4, Mom? What are you doing, Mom? You're trying to bankrupt me? I know I breastfed off you, Mom. That $4 never comes back. $4 is $4. Dollars. Can't. <laughs> it takes seat. a lot of $4 to get to that $6,000 Murphy Lab. Or that breast J45. milk gallon worth. Oh god! How much is a gallon of breast milk? <laughs> I imagine quite a bit, <laughs> like the the black market or something. <laughs> We're all breast milk, right? I'll here. be finding out soon on the dark web later. See you there at 9 p.m., kids. This no. computer's don't work right there. <laughs> ah, so <laughs> I can't believe really it. Thanks uh, for um, joining us. Psyops complete. Let us know your thoughts. Click like, subscribe. Off catches. Woo! Hit the bell.